Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just have a few short remarks about this uh, particular motion. I'm happy to stand in support of this motion. I think that um, the capacity market, it's pretty complex. There's a lot of different um, Think a lot of different things have to happen in order for this transition to be completed. Um, in j it's, it's extremely complex. In January of 2017, uh, the Pembina Institute actually hosted a webinar to help stakeholders understand it was called Capacity Markets 101. And by slide four, I was pretty confused, uh, felt quite lost. Um, slide eight includes a number of variables that I'm not familiar with at all, uh, including um, uh, net cone, C-O-N-E, I'm not too sure what that, may, what that means, variable resource requirement curve, su uh, system supply curve for annual extended summer and limited resources, uh, clearing price, and all of these things intersect in lots of different ways. Um, by slide 13, uh, it becomes extremely complex. Marginal value of system capacity, annual resource price adder. I don't think it's a snake, I think it's a, a, a price. Extended summer price adder. Um, the, the wheels of understanding for me is uh, just completely fell off. Time is definitely required to more fully understand the bill, what the capacity market will look like as a result of the bill, and to hear from stakeholders about how the bill will affect them and more clearly understand which pocket the costs will come from. Will it be a tax pocket or will it be a consumer uh, power bill pocket. So for these reasons, I'm happy to uh, support this uh, motion and I urge everyone else to do the same.